Hey everyone, welcome to another Artsy Studio Vlog. I've got glitter all over my face. Update number one, new set. That is a studio update. I've started using my uh, glitters, <laughs> like my craft glitters, not craft glitter, like the big chunky, but like, you know, the counterculture DIY glitters for my nails. Best decision I've ever made. Hi, welcome. I have some updates for you besides this. But first, I want to open this package. And I'm really sorry about the wicked awesome lighting that you're that you're uh, experiencing currently. This isn't anything like super crazy awesome. It's just yarn. Wow, who would have thought? Ta-da! So I got this like kind of pale yellow to do the background of the next cloud. I'm gonna call it rug, but I think I'm gonna make it into, I was thinking of honestly making it into a wall hanging. And stick with me here. But I was thinking of doing a three piece wall hanging that goes together. They'll like hang together. So it'll be like three sort of, actually I was thinking like wavy <laughs> pieces that will like fit together kind of like, you know, puzzle piece and each will have a cloud and it'll be like a sunsetty colors. So I was gonna do this like pale yellow as the sky color. And I know that sounds weird, but in a different Joann's package, I got that yarn I think we've already talked about, which is, it like fades from a pink or whatever color you pick to a white. And so I'm going to do the clouds with that. So the clouds will look all like pink and like sunsetty and fade into white cloud. Um, and then the background's going to be this like kind of pale yellow. And then I think the sparkles are going to be white. Hmm, maybe not. I'm not sure. Maybe it'll be like an orange. That would be beautiful. Yeah, I think that the, the sparkles are going to be orange. Anyway, and then I had to get more of this color for the other, to do the other Monstera. So that's, that's the really awesome package to open. Look what we got. My blinding, oh my God. It looks so, <laughs> it looks so gross. I think it just looks messed up because like the walls are unfinished and then the ceiling is, it looks like it's all falling apart. Um, but this is the best that this section, this wall has looked in months and that's not an over exaggeration like even a little yeah slider door is here and i'm so happy and excited because now i can move on to actually like fully decorating the studio i want to get some rugs to put on the floor because this concrete floor is freezing oh my gosh and especially especially in the winter we're also hoping to get a split unit in here so that i can like actually have a like heat source in here now that this door is in the door was like really holding up everything else so now i can like really clean it up and fully decorate it because i want to get sort of like a loungy chair to put like over in this corner. Like I wanna get like a cute rug to put on the floor, like kind of in front of the door and in this corner. And then I wanna get like a cute chair to put a, like kind of partly in front of the slider door. So this side is the side that opens. So I'm hoping, you know, cause I don't need to use the other side. So it'd be cute to put like a chair there or something. And I just kind of wanna like fully decorate it. And obviously I have to I, it's got the insulation just out, so I have to, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I don't know, I have to put some kind of wall. I have to finish insulating some other sections. I obviously have to insulate and, like, kind of clean up the ceiling. So, a little overwhelmed with, you know, like, I wanted the door to be done, but now that it is, I'm like, it's... I now I now it's go time. Okay, so with all of that, I'm starting with with what I think is the first step in, you know, sort of 
decorating. Oh, look at this like natural lighting coming in. And I can just, this is going to be magical, like in the summer and stuff. It, it, I mean, it's going to be magical at all times besides winter probably. Anyway, so this is what this corner is kind of looking like right now. Right over here is my like editing, like this is my desk and like the printer and things like that. Um, that desk, this one here is going to be where the sewing machine lives and I guess where like I might be able to carve some rugs. And then further, there's another table over here that is like my smaller tufting frame and then a whole bunch of junk that I need to like reorganize and stuff. It's a lot of, it's a lot of yarn and just kind of a mess. It's been like a dumping ground, honestly. And then obviously I have my, wow, you guys never get to see like this view of the studio, um, but this is the tufting frame. And so I was thinking now that I have the slider door, me tufting is on the other side of this. Um, so I don't really get to enjoy the, the giant slider door. So I was thinking of turning the tufting frame around so that when I'm tufting, I'm on this side to, you know, enjoy the natural lighting. And then the other side will be this side that I can still like film and stuff. And there are tons of, you know, my, my big lights back there, but I'm thinking of flipping the tufting frame around so that I can enjoy my new door. We should probably start by reorganizing some of all this stuff here. Look at all of that over there. All of this. Insanity. So I think I need to start there. I need to get all of that yarn and put it in the wall of yarn here. Anyway, let's let's get started with something. What the heck did I put my phone in? Oh, it's in my pocket. <laughs> Camera's just hanging precariously off of edges. I was also hoping to go to the dollar store to possibly find some like cheap ways to organize a bunch of stuff like this. Like, I don't know. I'm hoping that they have some kind of little cubbies that I can like screw to the wall or something that I can just like put tools in. But I need to find some very, very inexpensive ways to organize because slider door and then split unit, I'm not excited to pay for those. I feel like, what do I do with this right now? You know? Look what I found. Remember finishing the Monstera? I was literally looking for more of this and I was using small roll. I can't believe I had an extra one, but I guess that's good because I love this color. I built this with these cubby things. I wouldn't recommend building anything with these by yourself. Um, that was one of the most frustrating things. I just want like a big bin. I have something in mind and I'm hoping I can like kind of hunt it down and find it because they would be perfect for scraps and they'd be perfect for like all the fabric. It would just be perfect. But for now, I've made this ungodly contraption. By the way, all of these, all of this pile is uh, tufting fabric scraps that are like too small to fit on a frame. So I want you guys to make me get into punch needle. I need to just do it. It's hard because I, 
I feel like it's hard for me to do crafts where I'm just sitting and it's like a small thing. You know what I mean? Although I like crocheting. Anyway, I don't know. But you guys need to make me get into Punch Needle because this is a lot of scraps and I need to do something with them. Okay. Lovely. And this is just one giant, giant thing, so I'm just going to leave it. And that is perfect. I swear if I pick this up and it falls apart. I'm gonna lose my shit. Does anybody else just like drop these on the floor when they finish rolling yarn? I just like, I'm like, eh, on the floor. Why? Why? Why do I do that? Okay. Anyway, the corner. <laughs> the corner is cleared. I was so silly and stupid. I think I'm gonna sweep back there. It's a headless tripod. I don't even. What happened? This one actually has a head. It did feel like it, it did feel like it was going to fall apart, but it didn't, so that's what matters. Wow, look at that corner. That's a nice corner. Wow. Y'all, look. It's clean. Wow. That's special. Hey, it's it's like a couple days later. Uh, what I'm about to do is put up. Uh, I want to put up a shade, you know, just in case any weirdo peers in. They're gonna see my rugs. <gasps> I can't have any weirdos seeing my rugs. So I got this um, curtain rod at Target. Look how like cool and evil it is. Listen, I know that all of this is so incredibly unfinished but this is what i want to do with this space right now i realize that there's insulation please don't tell me that i need to cover it with wood i realize that i promise it will happen but in the meantime we're gonna put up a curtain rod and am i gonna measure where it's like supposed to go no good enough for me <laughs> All right, let's see if this will even fit. Yes, I did measure the length of the window, so it's not like I just went and bought whatever size, but I just want to make sure that these two brackets are in a good spot. Look at that. There's a third bracket that I could put in the middle, so I think I'm going to do that before I put the curtains on. I had to get these because I wanted something where it wasn't going to be like blackout curtains, which is basically everything in the curtain aisle is all blackout curtains. The curtains are expensive, like stupid expensive, like $30 for one. Also, like, why are we doing one? Obviously, I need more than one. Who needs one curtain? What is the purpose of one? What is the purpose of one curtain? Anyway. I found this, which is like a two-pack, thankfully. It was like kind of the only two-pack that I could find. And it was $23, so they're like sheer. So they're going to be like light filtering, but you won't be able to like see through it. So it's not going to be blackout, which is nice. But it's also not going to let you be able to see inside. Perfect. Nice. It's one half. So the tag is on the back. Okay. 
And then we'll see how dirty I got the first one already. Wow, it's perfect. Like the perfect height. Look at that. And it's not like actually touching the floor. All right, next thing I have to do is flip the tufting frame around so that the tufting, like, working side will be on the other side. I know we already talked about this. I also wanted to show you the yarn that I've been telling you about that I want to do the clouds with. It looks like this. Ooh, and it's so, it the, the yarn itself is so soft. I don't know if, I wish you could, like, see how, like, soft and fluffy you see how it's like fuzzy it is so soft but yeah it like fades from a pink to a white and they're all like that I feel like a lot of these sort of like fading color yarns they're not like rolled all the same where it's like the pink is always in the middle and it fades to like a white light pink like they're all like this and the reason I can't use those other ones is because the colors wouldn't be the same. I have to take two strands. Like, I'm going to have to use both of these at the same time. So I'll be able to take it from the center, and the yarn will be pink and fade to this, like, white from both. I, don't, I feel like I'm explaining this not right, but from both rolls, it is going to, both strands are going to be a pink and then fade to a white. And usually these rolls don't like all change to the same color at the same time and it even says on the side perfect phasing so i think these are going to be perfect they're the karen colorama halo that's what they look like and there's a whole bunch of different colors i did have to order these online i'm very excited to try this out i think it's gonna look so pretty okay so now we're gonna switch to moving my tufting frame around. There. Much better. Now I feel like I just need to get like a rolly stool and then I can roll around. Ah. All right, we are finally gonna get back to tufting. Look at the colors of the leaf for this one. Like I said, we're gonna do pink and then the background's gonna be black. And those are the main differences. Every other color is going to be the same. But this is the leaf color for this version. I'm so excited. I think it's going to be, it's perfect. Yeah, I really need to get a rolly chair. But this is nice. This is nice. <laughs> I'm so glad I uh, flipped around the tufting frame. All right, so I think I'm gonna end the studio vlog here because I need to put my head down and finish. I need to finish all of that green so I can get into the pink and then do, because I have put this off for a little while to do this and then the cleaning we did the other day and I just feel like I need, I need to zone out and tuft my absolute heart out and get as much done as I can. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment down below. It helps me a lot. You can follow me in all of these places. It is usually Artsy Madwoman besides Twitch and Tumblr, which is the Artsy Madwoman. My link to all of my links is down below in the description. So if you're looking for anything, any materials, the tufting gun that I just recently got, all of my like social links are in the one link to rule them all. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. To absolute death. <laughs> See you in the next video. <laughs> Goodbye.